Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Notion Hub. In this video, I'm going to show you the best features of Moto Razr Plus 2023. By the way, do hit the like button or dislike button if you like or dislike this video. It really helps us a lot. Now with that said, the most highlighting feature about this phone is obviously its dual screen setup and the displays are also pretty cool. It comes with a 6.9 inch foldable LTPO AMOLED display with 165Hz screen refresh rate, Full HD plus screen resolution with a peak brightness of 1400 nits. As for the secondary display, we get a 3.6 inch AMOLED display with 144Hz screen refresh rate with a peak brightness of 1100 nits. The outer display, that's the secondary display, is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. Now let's have a closer look at the secondary display. This is how it looks. Now Moto calls these things as panels. You have your regular home screen. It's like your default home launcher for the auto screen. You have your app shortcuts. You can rearrange them and you can also edit them. And if the application that you want is not available among these apps, you also have access to app drawer. So you can almost open any application in this smaller screen. Next, we can play games even on the secondary screen. Well, we do have some inbuilt games, I'll show them later, but for now, I'll show you other games. Yes, we can use the secondary display like a complete phone, and you can even play games like BGMI or PUBG directly on the secondary screen. Well, obviously it's not convenient, but I'm just trying to prove a point. You can play all the best games even on the smaller screen. Now, Motorola has created very interesting games specifically for this smaller screen, which takes the camera's cutout into consideration as well. All these games look pretty cool and they have a very good haptic feel as well. And they give you a lot of nostalgic feeling as well. Next, we can also change wallpapers on this smaller screen. Like Motorola once again has created a lot of interesting wallpapers, which change depending upon the time and date and weather as well. Finally, we can also use camera application in the secondary screen and use this rare cameras to take selfies as well. Like if you want to take high quality selfies or a super wide angle selfie, you can directly do it from the outer screen. Next, we have a feature called Retro Razor. Now this is more like a skin or a default launcher. Once you enable it, you get the old Retro Razor look and feel. You don't get a lot in terms of functionality, but it once again gives you a very nostalgic look. Moving on, next best thing about this phone is obviously its performance. Now, most of the foldable phones in the market do not come with the current latest generation flagship processor and the same goes with even this phone. But still, it packs great performance. It comes with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor with the Reno 720 GPU. It's an older generation flagship processor and it's pretty great for regular users and it's pretty good enough for gamers as well. Well, obviously, you'll not be playing games on this phone. Well, not games like PUBG at least. Next, we also have wireless charging on this phone. It's not super fast, but we do have it. It supports 5 watts wireless charging. Next, this phone also has pretty good cameras on the back or on the front, however you want to call it. It comes with a dual camera setup with a 12 megapixel primary camera with optical image stabilization, and that's followed by a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. And finally, once you flip the phone, you get a 32 megapixel camera for selfies. By the way, you can use those two outer cameras for taking selfies as well. These are some sample shots. Next, we have a feature called Live Preview while using the camera. Now, once you enable this feature, whenever you open camera application, you can see a cartoon animation on the secondary display. It definitely looks pretty cool. Next, we have some regular camera gestures like smile to capture. You just need to enable this feature and smile at the camera and your phone will automatically take a picture. We also have the famous palm capture where you just need to enable the feature and then show your palm to the camera and it'll take the photo automatically. This is a feature you should definitely try. Next, we have some interesting moto gestures as well. First, we have twist to capture. Now, once you enable this feature, no matter where you are, whatever you're doing, whether your phone is off or on, just twist your phone to quickly switch to the camera application. If you are already using the camera application, you can twist your phone again to switch between the front and rear cameras. Next, we have another interesting feature called double tap on the back to quick launch. 
Now this is a pretty unique feature that I've seen only on Motorola phones and I wish other phones had it too. Once you enable this feature, you can just double tap on the back side of your Motorola phone and it'll perform an action. You can configure this action to toggle the torch, take a screenshot or even open your favorite application. It's a pretty cool feature and I wish other phones had it too. Next we have fast flashlight. Now this is personally my favorite feature that I really use a lot. Once you enable this feature, you can just chop your phone twice to toggle the flash. It's a super handy feature and it's very addictive and I wish other phones had it too. Next we have lift to unlock and just like the name suggests, once you enable this feature, you can just lift your phone to unlock the phone. It's definitely a nice feature, but it'll make your phone a bit more unsecure. Next we have pick up to silence. Once you enable this feature, whenever you get a call, you just need to pick up your phone like from a table and the ringtone will be silenced. Once again, a super handy feature. Next we have flip to DND. This is another super handy feature. Once you enable it, you can just flip your phone to enter do not disturb mode. Once again, I wish other phones had it too. Like instead of manually turning on do not disturb mode, this little gesture is really handy. Next we have three finger screenshot. Now normally if you want to take a screenshot, you can press the volume down and power button both at the same time and you'll get a screenshot. Besides that, we also have the three finger screenshot gesture. Once you enable it, you just need to place three fingers on the screen and you get a screenshot. Once again, a pretty handy feature. Next we have an interesting feature in security settings called scramble the pin numbers. Now once you enable this feature, whenever you try to unlock your phone, you obviously get the number pad. Unlike on other phones where you get numbers which are ordered in a serial order, this feature scrambles all the numbers. This makes your phone a bit more secure and I would definitely recommend you to turn on this feature. So guys, these are the most important features that you should know about your Moto phone. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't, do hit the dislike button. Share it with your friends and do subscribe to our channel. With that said, this is Nikhil signing off. See you next time.